I'm in the business centre. I've just started uploading an 18 minute video and I've only got 12 minutes remaining. Awesome. Huh? This chair isn't very straight. What the heck? Good morning guys, how are you all doing? Yeah, this chair, it's um, it's facing down that way, it dips. Anyway, for some reason that computer's not working, I've tried it already. And somebody was sat here when I came in, as soon as he scooted off and it signed out and everything, I came straight onto this one. Look at that, in the time I've talked to you, it's already at 11%. With 11 minutes remaining, it's awesome. I've got my hard drive connected to it. I couldn't upload it last night because it was about, I don't know, quarter past 12 by the time I'd finished editing it. It took me over two hours to edit it. Uh, I just kept doing some clips and I'd be getting tired so I'd walk around the room to, you know, get my blood flowing and keep the energy going. But as soon as I'd finished editing it, I set the laptop to one side, pressed render and I just left it and I went to bed. In fact, just as I was about to climb into bed, I went to check to see how long it was saying an hour and 40. And that was just an estimate. It usually goes higher than that. So I thought, yeah, I'm, I'm not hanging around for that. I just went to bed. <laughs> and now I'm sat here waiting for this. That's still trying to start up. <laughs> Look at that, it's already 26% with nine minutes remaining. Good, because I need a shower before I go out. I smell. I like it. I've just finished uploading and the other computer's just come on. Typical. I've just made myself chuckle. I'm wearing my new Justice League shirt and the thing is, there's no Green Lantern there, is there? And I was already putting this on today. <laughs> so it matches it or makes up for it. Although, judging from the brightness out there, it might be better putting a vest on. But I don't want to do that because I think this is more proper attire for Warner Brothers Studios. I'm currently outside the depot or the headquarters of Starline Tours. Basically they dropped us off here to finish paying for the tour because you only pay a deposit at the hotel. And now I'm waiting for another bus to take me to Hollywood. <laughs> and here's the fun part. Apparently I'm going to have maybe a couple of hours in Hollywood just until my next bus that picks me up to take me to Warner Brothers. <laughs> uh, so, I bet you know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a bit of shopping. I'm glad I broke my rucksack. <laughs> We're still on our way to Hollywood. I just want to show you the view again. Of downtown LA. Right there, look. <laughs> I love seeing that. It's a fantastic view. Which is now gone because we're in a tunnel. <laughs> so I'm here in Hollywood and I've got an hour before the next bus and I'm hungry so I'm gonna go and look for something to eat and if I've got the time I think I might do a bit more shopping. <laughs> well I've not got food yet but I've bought two pairs of sunglasses right here where I can see the Hollywood sign. Yeah I'm in there. Uh, oh hold on, I better put my glasses back on. Yeah I'm uh, back in this area yet again <laughs> Honestly, I only came to get some food. I didn't expect to find sunglasses. I'm hungry right now. Got my sandwich right there. Turkey sandwich. And I'm going to be eating it right next to this place. Time to enjoy my dinner. Now on our way to one. We're here now. There's, uh, there's the famous tower. We'll be going in there. The only downside is the last time I was here I wasn't able to film that much so I'm not really sure how much I'll be able to show you guys I'm afraid. I think we could take some pictures though so we'll see how I go. Hey future Chris here the one who's just about to edit this vlog. I thought for this part of the vlog I would talk about the pictures that I took whilst I was there. I've just put them onto the laptop apparently I took 105 pictures today. I promise I'm not going to go through all of them just the ones at Warner Brothers where I couldn't film. So let's get started. She was telling us that this area was used in ER at one point. She said George Clooney's character lived here or something. This building is where people go to pitch stories. That's what she told us. These houses are actually offices. I'm not going to show you all of them, but basically it's 
production crew and whatnot are inside there. Oh, this is the car from Young Sheldon. I had to get that picture. Apparently this is their version of Central Park and has been used in a few shows, including Friends. This area, I can't remember what she called it, but I, I recognise it from scenes in Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman, and a few other things as well. Apparently this set was used in Batman Returns when uh, the penguin was inside and he was trying to find his parents and Batman was passing by. This is apparently the cinema where in Big Bang Theory Sheldon stole the film and ran out and everybody was chasing him down the street. This one, just before she, she told us anything, I asked is it the Daily Planet from Lois and Clark? She said yes it is. So I had to get a picture of that obviously. And there's this subway next to it and she was explaining to us that sometimes they have film footage where there's seemingly 100 people coming back and forth and it's actually about 20 extras and they go down into the tunnel, change clothes quickly and then come back up the stairs looking like somebody else. We've now got to the Hall of Heroes so I can send you back to past Chris, the, the Chris that was filming. So here's the thing, right? I've not been able to film anything until now. The last time I was in this building I wasn't allowed to even take pictures. I've just been told that we can film. I'm so glad I can. Look at this. <gasps> I'm wearing the right shirt. <laughs> this is awesome. The only thing you can't do is flash photography. I'm not going to be doing that. I am going to be filming though. Oh, this is awesome. Can't really see it, but there's the mother boxes from Justice League. Oh, you're not allowed to touch as well. <laughs> the thing is, this room, the last time, it was not just Justice League, it was a lot of movies like The Matrix and there were some costumes from Smallville and other things. But wow, this is cool. Awesome book, I wish I had that. It's like uh, some stuff from Wonder Woman here. Awesome. These are cool. <laughs> wow, this is great. I'm just filming everything. <laughs> Some sword. You can. There we go. <laughs> I'm allowed to touch it. <laughs> If someone tells me I can touch a movie prop, I'm going to touch it. Wow. That one's just so cool. Cyborg. And of course, Batman. Way cool. Upstairs now, it's mostly Harry Potter. There's a few Fantastic Beasts as well. Wow. Dobby! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Doesn't jump out, right? No, they're still doing sorting of the hat. The last time I got sorted into Slytherin. Let's see what else there is. Ah. Time to get sorted. <laughs> Ah, you're both this load of It's an amazing Yes, yeah. You're clearly a Gryffindor! Thank you. Of course. I'm so glad that this time I've been able to film in this building. It's awesome. And future Chris is back. Hi. <laughs> uh, just a few more pictures to go through. This is apparently outside the comic book store from the Big Bang Theory. Obviously there's no set dressing there. If you look closely, the plaque on the left of the door, it says the Friends stage. Basically it's where Friends was filmed. That building with the Warner Brothers sign on it apparently has a three storey water tank below it. And they filmed all sorts in there, including the Perfect Storm and others. Then we got into this set, Ellen DeGeneres show. I've not really seen much of the show, but I've seen snippets on YouTube. Obviously that's where the audience sits. There's lots and lots of lights above. And as you can see, that's the set in all its glory. 
And just before we sold the Batmobiles, I saw this one inside a warehouse, sat all on its own. I guess there was no room for it inside. I think that's it for the pictures, I'm not sure. Anyway, back to past me. Again. Oh, I've been looking forward to this for six years. But I wanted to see this one. They didn't have it in at the time. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Oh. Wow. Oh, I, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm going out rises. I've seen this one before. Look at this Batmobile from Justice League. Oh. It's the biggest one in here as well. I think that might be from Batman and Robin, I'm not exactly sure. These are tumblers from Batman Begins and Dark Knight Rises. So cool. Wow. And of course, a bat pod from Dark Knight, also used in Dark Knight Rises. But my absolute favourite has to be this one. I wish I could sit in it. <laughs> even Batman's wings from Batman Returns. Oh, and a spotlight. That's shining up there. Waited six years to see this. Yeah, I'm really, really happy. Oh, I better go. They're leaving without me. <laughs> Bye, Batmobiles. Bye. <laughs> Right, time to get back on there. Here at Lots Rose, of uh, pictures in here. We're in the final exhibit. The, the, the tour has changed. I'm now in a room that's got Warner Brothers animation, but a lot of stuff by Tim Burton. Corpse Bride. That's very cool. Could design a Batmobile here. <laughs> Mars Attacks. Sweeney Todd <laughs> and Beetlejuice which includes this look at that that's awesome <laughs> cool it seems they've moved the friends set to this exhibit and I get to sit on the sofa this time oh heck yes I enjoyed that <laughs> That's the first time I've got to sit on it because last time we were only able to stand behind it and put my hands on it and that was it. Anyway, I've just gone through this classic costume area. I've already been on one of these <laughs> when I was at the Harry Potter tour. Ooh. Uh oh, copyright music. So this I like as well, Gravity. Fantastic film. This is awesome. Oh, this is one of the original capsules used in it. So Sandra Bullock was sat right there. Some more Batmobiles, models of. How they made the Matrix. Some models from the Matrix. <laughs> Sweet. Well, actually, Matrix Revolutions. Uh, this is from Edge of Tomorrow. Interstellar. And also, Rider Batpod. And a broom. I've already done the broom thing. I've not done the Batpod thing though, but... I'm expecting it'll cost a lot of money for that. <laughs> Warner Brothers Legacy. Uh, I'm gonna guess 300. Ooh, I hear Matrix. Oh, wow. Sir uh, Superman's Cape from the original Superman movie. I'm now coming to the end of the exhibit. Finishes with posters. One of my favorite shows. One of my favorite shows. <laughs> Some movie posters as well. Can't wait for that. And then there's this. An actual central perk. <laughs> Just when I thought I was done, I was told to come to the end of here and look at this. Supergirl costume. And then you've got the Flash. Right there. And then Arrow. That's awesome. And of course, I'm now in heaven. <laughs> I've got a feeling I'm going to be spending some money. Oh boy. Well, that's the tour done with. Time to go back to the hotel. <laughs> Find it ironic that like the couple I've been talking to are staying in the hotel I stayed at last time. Oh, good lookers. I've noticed it's built up a bit around it. All of this wasn't there before. Oh then. Look, see, the target. Cool. Do you guys hear that? I've literally just walked in the room. 
that started beeping. Well, I'm assuming it's been beeping a while. It's not even displaying anything. What? Shut up. Yeah. Suppose you want to see what I've bought. First, that annoying thing out of your shot. I can still hear it. Oh, shut up, you're going out the toilet. Okay, I think I'm getting away with it. Actually, before that, I did buy some sunglasses, didn't I? These. Ta-da. They'll last about a week. And these silver ones. And these will last about two days. In here, I've got a t shirt. Man of Steel. I've got Batman v Superman. And for a while now, I've been thinking, I need Man of Steel, a Man of Steel t shirt. Got one. And I also bought a friend's keyring right there. I think that's all I bought. That blooming aircon keeps coming on and then going off and then coming back on again. <laughs> Doesn't bother me at night because I turn it off, but somebody on the floor above and sometimes the floor below, they have theirs running all night. I'm guessing they're from Scandinavia. <laughs> I don't know, I'm starting to go a bit um, delirious. That's the word I was looking for due to the fact I'm hungry. And I'm gonna sign off now, and yeah, maybe I'll get to go to bed early tonight because I'm up early tomorrow for the next excursion. And then I don't know what I'm doing after that because I've not done any, I've not booked anything else afterwards yet. Anyway, guys, I shall say thank you for watching and subscribing if you have, and liking this video if you did. Until the next time, peace out. I could still hear that watch. You better shut up. Be quiet. Oh. It turns out all I had to do was press a button and it shut up. It wouldn't do that yesterday. But it's still blank.